So if you see the formula, this Doppler effects formula is same as sound. So whenever when light ray is approaching, just assume with the sound wave is approaching. When light wave is approaching towards the observer, so the frequency of approach nu is frequency, nu of approach is equal to nu into root of c plus v by c minus v where c is the speed of light, v is velocity of the observer. In case of moving away, new recession is equal to new into c minus v by c plus v. We are assuming that the light is an electromagnetic wave. So, the best example is v is much less than c. Means velocity of a given medium is much less than the velocity of light or speed of light. So in these cases, this formula is going to change. So how they will change, we should check now. So in these cases, new approach is equal to new into 1 plus V by C. And I am dividing with C by lambda A. C is equal to new lambda. C by lambda is nu. So C by lambda A is equal to C by lambda into 1 plus lambda by C whole power minus 1. So C by lambda recession is equal to C by lambda into 1 minus V by C. Here it is 1 plus V by C. This minus 1 is not present here right now. So how the minus 1 will come, we will see. So 1 by lambda is equal to 1 by lambda into 1 plus V by C. 1 by lambda is equal to 1 by lambda is equal to into 1 minus V by C. What about the frequency? So frequency nu is equal to C by lambda R. Therefore nu R is equal to nu into 1 minus V by C. And this one nu a is equal to nu into 1 plus v by c. So these are all the formula to find the frequency of the approach and frequency of the recession in case of a Doppler shift. So sound waves are a formula like the Doppler effect of valid IIO, away formula is like light waves could approach out. So okay, light wave observer and approach out and uh, then a frequency formula frequency into under root c plus v by c minus v. C and the speed of light, V and the speed of observer. New recession coach is new into C minus V by C plus V. So V much less than C gabati. And then C and the electromagnetic wave. E case low new approach of new into 1 plus V by C. Kani e electromagnetic waves low run to cases on approaching case, recession case. We take a frequencies find out just up to C by lambda A is equal to C by lambda into 1 plus V by C. Is C by lambda in nu enter, therefore nu a is equal to nu into 1 plus v by c. And the C by lambda r is equal to C by lambda into 1 minus v by c, then nu r is equal to nu into 1 minus v by c. Can the chapter. Even then, this Doppler effect is something called rules. Next, we will discuss about blue shift and red shift. In this, if you see this equation, lambda a is equal to lambda minus v by c lambda lambda a minus lambda is equal to minus v by c lambda what is lambda a minus lambda delta lambda a is equal to minus v by c lambda and if you see the second equation this equation lambda r minus lambda is equal to or lambda r is equal to lambda plus v by c lambda lambda r minus lambda is equal to v by c lambda this lambda r minus lambda is said to be delta lambda r This is the formula for the change in the wavelength for approach, 
change in the wavelength for recession next blue shift when source is moving towards the observer or the light rays which are emanated from the source are moved towards the observer the distance between the source and observer is shortened in this case the frequency of the light is visible as blue actually for long distances very difficult to observe the short wavelengths according to the eye sensitivity difficult to observe the violet and indigo colors the first color which is visible to the human eye in frequency is blue that's why in in case of scattering of light if you see the example the sunrise time and sunset time the middle time between the sunrise to sunset the sky will appear as blue because it is the natural color which is clearly visible to the human beings except violet and indigo so in case of blue shift we will apply the same formula delta lambda b is equal to minus v by c lambda so here lambda dash is less than lambda then what about the frequency nu b is equal to minus v by c into nu here also nu dash is less than nu what is blue shift source is approaching to the observer next one is red shift what is the meaning of red shift when source is recedes away from the observer that means source is at a long distance from the observer source is receding away from the observer then the color appeared as red shift we can observe this one in the sunrise and sunset time therefore delta lambda r is equal to v by c into lambda here lambda dash is greater than lambda and nu r is equal to v by c into nu so here also nu dash is greater than nu one more point what we can observe in the blue shift and red shift is the change in the frequencies it is nothing but the strain that is delta nu by nu is equal to minus v radial by c what is this minus v radial it is the velocity of a line which joins the source to the observer in a uniform linearity so lambda a is equal to lambda into 1 minus v by c avutundi lambda r is equal to lambda into 1 plus v by c avutundi ee rendu equations ni manam expand chesinappudu lambda is equal to lambda minus v by c into lambda lambda a minus lambda is equal to minus v by c lambda ee lambda a minus lambda ni delta lambda a antam idi minus v by c lambda avutundi next lambda r is equal to lambda plus v by c lambda so lambda r minus lambda is equal to v by c lambda delta lambda r is equal to v by c into lambda so idi red shift avutundi receding this is for approaching idi receding blue shift blue shift ante entante source observer ni approach avutunappudu daggariki vastunappudu manaki kanipinche first frequency of the wavelength is blue so delta lambda is equal to minus v by c by lambda ikkada lambda dash anedi original lambda kara takku untundi so frequency of the blue shift is minus v by c into nu nu dash is less than nu red shift source is receding ante source observer kana dooranga unnappudu scattering lo sunrise sunset times lo manam den observe cheyochu ee time lo delta lambda r is equal to v by c into lambda nu r is equal to v by c into nu so lambda dash is greater than lambda nu dash is greater than nu so ee yokka change in the frequency to the original frequency strain ki equation ante minus v radial by c ee v radial anedi ee line edaithe observer ni source ni connect chestundo aa line yokka radial velocity cut sir on oh, numeric so this is the numerical which is based on the concept of doppler shift so the content is what speed should a galaxy move with respect to us so that the sodium line at 589.0 nanometers is observed at 589.6 nanometers 
so the wavelength lambda is 589.0 nanometers that is nothing but 589 into 10 to the power of minus 9 meters next one to be observed with lambda dash is 589.6 nm nothing but 589.6 into 10 to the power of minus 9 meters what is the change in wavelength the change in wavelength is equal to delta lambda is equal to lambda dash minus lambda that is nothing but 589.6 minus 589 nanometers that is equal to 0 0.6 into 10 to the power of minus 9 meters so we should find out what speed what is the speed the formula is delta nu by nu is equal to delta lambda by lambda is equal to minus v radial by c so we should find out the speed so c is equal to c into delta lambda by lambda is equal to delta nu by nu okay. continue so c into delta lambda by lambda is equal to delta nu by nu that is equal to v radial so v radial is equal to c 3 into 10 power 8 delta lambda 0 0.6 into 10 to the power of minus 9 lambda 589 into 10 to the power of minus 9 10 power minus 9 10 power minus 1 gets cancer therefore it is 3 into 10 power 8 into 0 0.6 by 589 if you simplify 3.06 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second that means galaxy should approach us with this much speed then the sodium line at 589.0 nanometers will be observed at 589.6 nanometers.